the Nevis Culturama Festival, the Caribbean's greatest summer lime, is back on the scene after a two-year respite due to the pandemic. This year's festival, Culturama 48, is going to be a 13-day festival starting from the 21st July, going right down until the 2nd of August 2022. Today, we warmly welcome Mr. Abonati Leibert, the Executive Director of the Culturama Committee, who is here to tell us what we can expect for this event. Once again, Mr. Leibert, a pleasant good morning. Welcome to Good Morning SKN. Good morning, and um, it's good to be here. Good morning, SKN. Um, it's a pleasure. It's, we, we, the Nevis Culture Armor Committee always welcome opportunities like these to get the word out about Culture Armor. And so we are delighted. I am delighted. The committee is delighted. The secretariat is delighted to be invited to be on the show this morning. So once again, thank you for having me with you. It's you our pleasure, are sir. welcome. So we'll start off with our first question. There was a slogan contest held for the Culture Armor 48 theme. How how did that go? And tell us and tell us what was the selected theme. Well, the Culture Armor slogan competition was launched. I think, if my memory serves me right, it was launched on the eleventh of February, and it concluded on the eleventh or the twelfth of of March. It ran for approximately four weeks, and surprisingly, we got a record number of four hundred and sixty-one slogans. Um, in, in those four weeks, mm -hmm. if my memory serves me right, in the 20 plus years that I've been at Culturama, we have never got so many um, slogans being submitted into the, uh, into, the, into the slogan competition. And so that is telling us that persons mm -hmm. were waiting, were waiting mm -hmm. for the return of the Caribbean's greatest summer line. Now, Having received 461 slogans, it was a very difficult task to sift through those, those slogans. Now, we were looking for a slogan that was short, that was catchy, and that would reflect the true spirit of, of the festival. And so we narrowed it down, we narrowed it down, and then we came down to 20, we came down to 10, and then we were down to five. And in the end, the committee deliberated on those five slogans. And uh, the slogan that, in our opinion, captured the essence of Nevis's culture armor was um, fet and celebrate Nevis culture armor, 48. And that winning slogan was penned by um, an, a hard times resident of Gingerland Nevis, Verna Tibu. Um, she penned the winning slogan, and for her winning slogan, she will be receiving two complimentary, two sets of complimentary passes to all Culture Armor 48 events, mm. a cash prize of $500, and also a, a, a plaque that she can hang in her house, and that, you know, generations of come will, will say, well, mommy or granny or auntie <laughs> won the Culture Armor 48 slogan. All right, so Mr. Leibert, we've been uh, speaking of the dates of Culture Armor uh, 48 for 2022, and that would obviously be indicative that the committee has received the green light from the task force, correct? Yes, we in fact received the task, the, the green light from the task force this week, Tuesday, this week, Tuesday, this week, Tuesday, um, received the green light from the task force, and so we are ready to go. Um, we had to go to the task force to seek permission. We made a, a presentation last week, Tuesday, yes, last week, Tuesday, and we received the green light one week later. So we are ready to go. We are ready to hit the road with Culture Armor 48. Oh, that's a great slogan, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Mr. Leibold, I can definitely feel your enthusiasm about the green light to go ahead. So yeah, are there yeah, any, I didn't hear you, sorry? No, I said you, you said you were saying that, you know, you can see the enthusiasm. Yes, we were a bit skeptical, but when we got the great news, you now all of the committee members, you know, we were um, delighted to know that um, <laughs> once again, um, the task force ruled in favor of the Nevis Culturama Festival. Great stuff. So are there any events in particular that the Culturama Committee expect to be a part of Culturama 48? 
well, we have a full 13 day festival. We are going to go with a full 13 day festival from July 21st until August 2nd. Um, we have some pre activities that are going to start from June 3rd, and those pre activities would run right down until July the 17th. And then we will have the core activities, uh, which would begin on, on, on July 21st. Now, the activities for this year, Culture Arm, are basically going to remain. Um, the same, that is those from the committee standpoint, we are going to have a Miss Culture Queen pageant. We are going to have a Mr. Cool and Miss Swimwear um, contest. We are going to have our Soka Monarch contest. We are going to have our Senior Calypso contest and our Junior Calypso contest. We will be introducing this year for the first time um, a steel pan competition as part of, of the festival. We are also going to be having the Mr. and Miss Talented Youth pageant. We are going to have our junior street parade involving our schools and our young children. We will be having our, our senior cultural street parade. That's going to be the grand finale to the festival on August 2nd. And of course, we are going to have the return of Emancipation Juve Jam. Mm -hmm. um, I think that I, I, I forgot one of our big, our major activities for Culture Armor, we're going to have our, our Culture Armor wet fet as well. Now, there have been some slight changes in terms of the lineup, in terms of when the events will be staged. We're accustomed to having the Calypso show on the Saturday night. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to have our the Culture Armor 48 wet fet on the Saturday night. And mm -hmm. that is Saturday, July the 30th. Saturday, July the 30th. And during the day of Saturday, July the 30th, we are going to have our Culture Armor Food Fair. We have not yet decided on the venue. There are two venues that, are, that, that we are looking at. Um, and so persons coming to the Culture Armor Food Fair would leave the food fair and go straight into the wet fed because the wet fed is going to start at 10 p.m. and it would go right down until morning. So now the Calypso show now would be staged on Thursday, July 28th. We have shifted the Calypso show to the Thursday night. Okay. And the, the Friday night, we are going to have our So Common Art. The So Common Art competition usually would have been staged on the Thursday night. But we have shifted the So Common Art competition to now the Friday night. So it's going to be like a power weekend where we have the So Common Art on the Friday night, Wet Fet on the Saturday night. The Sunday night, we are going to have the Miss the, 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 the Miss Culture Queen pageant, and then we move straight into Juve, and then we move into the parade and last lap jump up on the Tuesday, the second. All right, so Mr. Lybird, uh, I don't want to age you at all, but I know that you're seasoned. <laughs> I know that you've been in this role of executive director for uh, quite a while. Uh, what can you tell yeah, us 20 about- 20 plus years. 20 plus years, exactly. <laughs> so being in this role, I'm. I can imagine you've seen the growth of Culture Rama, you've seen developments, you've seen mm -hmm. even changes and taken perhaps some decisions alongside the committee that helped the festival to develop even more. What were some of the highlights for you in looking back at those 20 years and what can we expect even more for Culture Rama 48 this year? Well, over the past 23 years that I've been as the executive director, of the festival. We have seen the, the, the Cultural Festival grown. The festival has moved from um, seven, eight, nine days. It has, it, has, it has been lengthened, and so we are now um, experiencing a 13-day festival. Mm -hmm. We have also seen over the years um, some diversity in terms of the, some of the activities that we have had for the Cultural Festival. Um, when I became the executive director in, two, in 1998, for the 25th anniversary of the, of the festival, we introduced an international night. And that was the first time that Culture Armor saw an international night as part of the calendar of activities. In fact, we had um, legendary reggae singer out of Jamaica, Joseph Hill. Um, the headliner for that reggae night. And we have continued having um, on and off having international nights as part of the, of, the, of the festival. We have also seen a separation of the parades where we used to have the junior and the senior um, seniors parading. And when we looked at 
you know, the fact that they are seniors gyrating and probably misbehaving, probably misbehaving in front of, a ju of our juniors. We decided over the years that we would split those two parades. And so we have seen a split in the parades. Um, we have introduced events like the Wet Fet and their fringe activities that are now part of the, of the festival, for example, the five-in-one Fet, the Glow Fet. And so um, it was, I think, in 2017 that we moved in the direction of FETs because we recognized that festivals around the region um, were moving in that direction. And in order for us to remain relevant and in order for us to, to, to compete with our regional neighbors, Antigua, Anguilla, Barbados, wherever, there is carnival around the region at the same time, that we needed to up our game and offer yeah. exciting activities. And so we introduced the FETs. And so over the past 23 years, yes, we have seen um, some changes in terms of, of the festival. We have placed greater emphasis on showcasing the cultural heritage and needs. And so you will see a lot more folklore, folk music, the steel pan, we are introducing that competition this year. We have had string band competitions in the past. We have had mass space competitions. We have had folklore competitions. And so over the years, we have seen these changes. And I think that Culture Armor now, um, with the inclusion of all of the various aspects of Nivision culture, um, we have set the platform for the preservation of Nivision folklore, Nivision culture, Nivision heritage for years to come. So being director of culture, Mr. Leibert, was that a, a calling of yours? And what are some of the major takeaways you would have had this for? Well, um, my training is in agriculture. Mm. And uh, I often give this joke in that when I was asked to be the executive director of the Culture Armor Secretariat in 1998, then opposition leader um, in, in, in the parliament, Mr. Joseph Parry, um, while debating, said, uh, well, he was, he was hammering the then government for taking me out of the school. Um, I think that he was strong in education and putting me in culture. And what, 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 what he said, in essence, what he said, you all have chopped off the agri and left him with culture and put him in culture. He was in agriculture, you all have put him in culture. You all have chopped off the agri and, re and left him with culture. And that, that was a joke between uh, Mr. Parry and myself for, for many years, because you know he felt that um, I should not have been moved to culture, but, um, Personally, I've grown. I've grown personal. Um, I'm grow, I've grown over the years. Um, mm -hmm. I've, I was not accustomed to um, interviews like these and speaking in public. And so, over the years, um, it has helped me. I've been able to travel to different countries and observe, like, let's say, Cari Festa in Trinidad, Cari Festa in in in, in Guyana, mm -hmm. and so. It has made me stronger in terms of my cultural conviction. I was not very strong um, um, supporter of culture, but it has mm -hmm. made me um, a very strong supporter of Nivision culture and culture. And it has given me a greater appreciation for Nivision culture and for culture um, around the region. And uh, um, I think that it was a good call that I answered to when I accepted to be the executive director of the Culture Army Secretariat. Great call indeed. Well, we've seen the fruits of uh, your labor over yeah. the last 23 years. We're looking forward to Culture Army 48. Thank you for being with us today, sir. Thank you for sharing all about the expectations of Culture Army 48. And mm. uh, hopefully we'll be with you again as the time draws near. We've been speaking well, with I, Mr. I, yes. I I certainly cool. look forward to a follow-up interview um, when we release mm -hmm. our calendar of activities shortly uh -huh. um, and our, our, our fringe activities. It's going to be an exciting calendar of activities for Culture Armor 40. So I want to use this opportunity to invite all those persons, lockdown, all those persons in Sinkits. Sinkits is one of our biggest markets mm -hmm. and to come on over and be a part of this year's festival.